Hi, Tana Marshall here with your Feel Good Friday message. And today I want to talk to you about when you're feeling a little off <laughs> and how to get back on track and feel better. Sometimes something will happen, maybe you've had an experience with a person or you went to a place and it threw you off. And I will tell you, me personally, I had a fall <laughs> this weekend. I have this history of uh, falling on my tailbone and it happened again last weekend. I fell on the stairs at my husband's townhouse and bounced down three stairs, hurt my wrist on the way down, and my energy was already feeling a little bit off, so I kind of wasn't surprised. So when this happens, what I do, and what I'm going to suggest for you, is to just stop and just kind of assess where you are and appreciate the contrast, because when we're attracting things that we don't want, it gives us an opportunity to go, okay, I don't like this, what do I want? And what I wanted in that moment was to feel better because I was in a lot of pain. <laughs> and sometimes I know that these things happen because I've been focusing on things that aren't feeling right to me and that energy kind of accumulates and sometimes it results in something like a fall. And I'm telling you this so that you do not get to that point. We always want to be observing how we're feeling so that we can do a pivot and focus on something better that makes us feel good. And I understand how it feels sometimes to get stuck in these emotions where you just focus on them and you dwell on them and then you're marinating in them and then it's harder to get out. So please be aware of what you're thinking and how it's making you feel. And if it doesn't feel good, do something to focus your attention elsewhere. I've been telling people this for years, way before I even started coaching, because I knew that this was the best way to just feel better. If something's got your attention, you don't like it, it doesn't feel good, focus on something else. And if you're too deep into it, you can't make that drastic change very quickly, but you can make small changes. You can make gradual changes and bring yourself up that vibrational scale. And this is why it's nice to focus on what you want most of the time so you can keep raising your vibration so that you're up here most of the time. And if something knocks you down, it knocks you down here. And if you're already here, you're gonna get knocked down here. So it's harder to get from here back up to here. So we wanna stay here as much as we can. And when we get knocked down, just find something that'll get you back up here. And then another little something get you back up here and gradually you'll get back up there so it can be anything from talking to a friend just to express how you're feeling but don't dwell on it because then you're just going to be generating more of that negative energy you can vent in somebody get it up and out and then talk about something that makes you happy or go someplace that makes you happy go outside and l listen to the birds and look at the trees and just notice how beautiful nature is or watch a movie that makes you happy or go pet your cat Go be with your loved ones, go be with your kids, whatever is going to lift your spirits and make you feel just a little bit better. And because, you know, we, we <laughs> definitely want to avoid going to the things that we think are going to make us better. And it's just a temporary fix, like having a drink or popping a pill. And my personal favorite is sugar. So we don't want to keep going there to those detrimental things that aren't going to serve us in the long run. We want to focus on things that are going to make us happy, even if it's just a temporary little fix that just makes you a little bit happy. So I want you to think about something now. What makes you happy? What could be your go-to thing when things are not going so great and you notice, oh, I'm in that downward spiral. I want to bring myself back up again. Find that thing. Find several things, people, places that you have as your go-to toolbox for when you start to feel kind of icky so you can bring yourself back out of it more quickly and keep yourself from dipping down into that deep dark place where it's really hard to get out of. So, uh, you know, I, I don't want to get into too much of what I do. Obviously, if I can get to Disneyland, then I'm happy. But I will pet my cat. I, as I said, I will go outside. I'll talk to a friend. My husband always makes me feel better no matter what's going on. Hopefully you have a friend or somebody in your life that just always has that knack for helping you see things from a better light and makes you feel better about the situation, makes you feel better about yourself. So just have those tools available to you so you can get out of it more quickly. And that's my message for you today. Get that happy toolbox in place so that you can keep yourself from dipping down into that dark place too often. 
And if you enjoyed this video, if it helped lift you up a little bit, please subscribe to my channel on YouTube, forward to your family and friends. And if you would like these messages delivered straight to your inbox every Friday, jump on over to my website, tanamarshall.com, and join the mailing list. And with that, I just want to wish you a great weekend. Keep yourself up here and stay up here. If you come down here, get back up here, quick, and just enjoy. I'll see you next time.